I'm gonna grab an avocado, really ripe one, squishy, and also a super ripe, unedible banana. I also have some olive oil container to mix it all in with, fork to squish it all up, cutting board and knife. Cut the avocado into fours. You can see it's round in areas. Definitely wouldn't recommend eating, but perfect for hair mass. That way you can put to use the vegetables and things that you buy and don't eat in time. They still can have another use. So we're just gonna take the avocados. Stick them in the bowl. In the bowl. Now we're just gonna add very squishy banana in there as well. Some olive oil in there so you have a better consistency. There's no measurements to this, just we're gonna squish it around until we get the consistency that we want. Now we squish. And this is why the overripe avocado and banana works very well, because they're already squishy. All right, this is pretty good consistency. It looks disgusting, but it smells pretty good. Let's go put it on. Now we're just going to apply this lovely mixture all over mainly these fried dyed ends. So I'm just gonna take <laughs> a handful and woo You definitely wanna do it over sink or something you don't care about. Obviously a t-shirt you don't care about. And look at, you can see the moisture taking place. I love, love homemade hair masks. One, I don't have to purchase any. Two, it's stuff that I usually always have around the house. I always have bananas that I don't eat. I always have avocado. And I usually always have olive oil. And third, natural products are always gonna be better than store-bought. They always put chemicals and other stuff that you don't know about. So if it's just avocado, banana, olive oil, those are all very natural things. So. I'm all about that. So you're just gonna wanna saturate as much as you can. Get it all in there. Just mainly the ends. I mean, I do have some breakage up here that I'm gonna get, but right after you've worked that all in there, I just twist it around, take a clip, and you wait like 15, 20 minutes. So I just let my hair air dry, which my hair is very thin, so that doesn't take very long, um, till it's almost all the way dry. I have some of this smooth criminal blowout balm. Just gonna put just a little and just on the ends as well because my hair will get greasy. So again, just on the ends, work that through really well and blow dry as you normally would. That is my go-to homemade hair mask. Looks better, feels better. I mean, it's not Jesus, it's not gonna perform miracles, but it is what it is. Looks better, feels better. Thanks for watching.